नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एनजे ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल सो गाइस आफ्टर हैविंग अबर डिस्कशन ऑन दिस अपकमिंग ट्रांसिट ऑफ राहु एंड केतु ऑन मे 19 2025 लाइक व्हेन राहु इज गोइंग टू बी एंटरिंग एक्वेरियस एंड केतु इज गोइंग टू बी ट्रांसिटिंग इनटू लियो सो हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू बी इन्फ्लुएंसिंग द वर्ल्ड एंड हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू बी इन्फ्लुएंसिंग ऑल द राइजिंग साइंस वी ऑलरेडी हैव हैड अबर डिस्कशन ऑन दैट एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी ऑलरेडी हैड अबर डिस्कशन दैट इफ यू हैव एनी ऑफ द प्लैनेट्स इन द ह्यूमैनिटेरियन साइन ऑफ एक्वेरियस and rahu is going over it how the results are going to be now we will have our discussion from the ketu's perspective like for example if you have any of the planets in the um, leo sign and ketu is going over it how the results are going to be now guys you have to understand this thing in this axis somehow leo tend to be the sensitive end of this axis because when it comes down to the aquarius not only aquarius is very humble it's very accommodating for all the planetary energies but in the case of saturn and rahu it is somehow more soft because it has the rulership of the aquarius goes to the rahu and the saturn but when it comes down to the leo sign which is being ruled by the planet sun and this is one such energy which is enemical both to rahu and ketu so what are results going to be that is something which we will try to understand in this video and trust me guys whenever it comes down to the ketu like i even like uh, during my this trip to india when i wanted to get one specific tattoo like after having all of my body tattoos of gods and devatas i wanted to get a tattoo of some planet like my friend only asked me that okay i want to get a tattoo done i was discussing with my friend which element connected to astrology shall i get it done so my friend suggested okay what do you think he does not know anything about astrology so which planet actually intrigues you which planet you are more fascinated towards i thought okay i got my answer it has to be the ketu and that is how i got my this tattoo done so now i'm not like encouraging people and the young people especially to get a tattoo just like that it was my end of the story and guys over here i actually want a suggestion from you people as well because i recently um, came across this um, video where this very respectful uh, vedic astrologer from the west he was giving this emphasis that it's the ketu which needs to be in a strengthened state for someone to have a good chance in filmmaking and in photography so just because i'm all the time fascinated towards ketu and that was something new to me so i thought okay let me ask my community as well that if you have these alignment or if you know anyone who is a good photographer or who is like a good filmmaker have you seen the alignment coming in or that person doing something very big in the time period or because of the contribution of the ketu so do write it in the comment section okay guys now we will uh, shift our discussion to today's um, like topic which is about ketu is going over the this uh, leo sign so first of all let's first try to understand that how and in which capacity ketu is going to be bringing results when it is going to be transiting in the leo so the very first way of looking at this is like this could be the time when lot many people will experience spiritual growth through creative expression like the way guys like if i were to share my own favorite musician like you know listening to their those music tend to remain very therapeutic for me so when we talk about um, like this uh, zombie song by dolores the cranberries band or you talk about this song hurt by johnny cash so these are like among certain people like the way they have put their work the way they have been dedicated towards the craft that now the piece created by them was not only a mode of their spiritual growth spiritual practice but also it has been serving other people in their own journeys as well you would not believe the kind of therapeutic impact music could have on someone and when we talk about ketu's influence in the leo this could be a time when a lot many times just like the way there have been lot many people who advocate this thing that if you have to practice meditation if you have to practice any of the yoga practices go to the mountains go to the isolation but this could be a possibility that through the use of any of the creative outlet creative expression ketu can help you and ketu in the leo is a idol example of spiritual growth through creative self expression after that a lot many times it has been seen that this is one such kind of alignment which hold this capacity to purify your ego 
and self identity we know this thing that ketu is like a a typical breaker of your identity like completely decimating your ego and that um, you know uh, belongingness to your uh, pride to your identity so that the liberation would be possible so this could be also seen as that ketu's transit in the leo or if you have in your natal chart as well and ketu is going to be getting activated this could be a right time when life nature circumstances and omen will play a very pivotal role in completely purifying your ego and this could be self identity a lot many times it has been seen that a lot many people also go through this kind of turmoil that kind of inner conflict between their pride and their humility so you're not able to balance things out and guys just because if you are somehow connected with the fields of art creativity so this could be a case that all those ideas which you have been waiting and working for a long time they occur to you they come to you in a very um, unconventional in a very mysterious kind of way when you would have been least expecting it like there's one very famous singer um, vedek and like a uh, bhajan singer and all so manish vyas ji i was like i invited him for one of my podcast and over there when i asked him that okay being an artist has it happened to you that those kind of ideas how it came to you those epiphanies being a artist and a creative person he said yeah, it happened so many times there was one uh, time when i was going to get my musical instrument and those were the times when i used to have walkman and suddenly i got that inspiration and idea of that musical tone and just because i was not carrying my walkman with me or that recorder with me r- like rather than going to the destination i took a turn i went back and immediately recorded that musical tone so that i will not forget it later on so that is the kind of you know uh, having those uh, great creative ideas in a very mysterious sudden way can also be connected with it along with that guys for all those people who are in a leadership role this could be a case that ketu's transit in the leo can actually make people little bit unconventional in their leadership style and all and this will be very important the kind of geopolitical situation are going through and just because a lot many people have been rooting with that uh, donald trump is a strong contender for coming back and uh, russia like putin and xi jinping they are already strongly rooted in their uh, geographical locations so this could be a case that the world will witness very unconventional kind of outcome like the way this used to be a case uh in india and canada relation everything was going fine like even uh, canadian government released this statement as well that we will not encourage or support anything which could challenge the sovereignty of india as a nation and immediate after like 3 days uh, they uh, kind of you know there have been some issue with our diplomat with the high commissioner of india being in canada same is the case no one would have expected in this brics meeting that uh, Uh, Indian Prime Minister and the Chinese uh, Premier, they are gonna have a very cordial uh, handshake, and the border situation are going to get eased out. So this is how we can expect when Ketu is going to be transiting in the Leo. So yes, guys, these were certain things which I wanted to say about when uh, Ketu will transit in the Leo. Now let's start taking up all of your uh, planets. one by one and we will start discussing that if ketu is going to be transiting over them how the results are going to be see understand this thing that when we talk about the transit of rahu over a planet and comparing it with ketu's transit over a planet the stark difference lie in that ketu is a very rahu is a very expansive energy ketu is a very kind of a uh, shrinking kind of energy rahu just wants to uh, make a spectacle of things it wants to make things grow and it wants to take you towards things which have been unexplored on the other end ketu wants to take you back to your root ketu wants you to explore and bring out all those things which you already have within you they are just lying dormant they are just lying latent that is the hidden talent and potential which you already have in you that's like kind of a sanchit karma or a share of that prarabdh with which you are born the portion of destiny with which you are born ketu wants you to explore it ketu does not want it to go unexplored so this is where the stark difference between the energy of the ketu and the rahu comes one thing is for sure that ketu never gets 
कंटेंडेड विथ सुपरफिशियलिटी वेन इट कम्स डाउन टू केतु देर हैज टू बी सो लेवल कंटेनमेंट एंड परफेक्शन इन थिंग्स नाउ लेट स्टार्ट बाई डिस्कशन सो गाइज लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू हैव सन बिंग देयर इन दी लियो सो दैट इज अ वेरी गुड साइन आई एम वेरी मच श्योर दैट इन योर केस um like um your degree and sense of self confidence uh, creative self expression pride recognition respect in the society connections are going to be very strong now what is going to be happening is that ketu is going over it and let's say for example if you are also going through the right now ketu is also active in the dasha then this will become very important for you so guys like the way i mentioned this thing that this is going to be the time when somehow you will get into this mode of self negation self doubting yourself or this could be a case that see like the way i mentioned this thing uh, unconventional mysterious kind of uh, like experiences suddenly you are having this conflict see for other people this could be still a easy way to manage things if you have jupiter in the leo if you have mercury in the leo but just because in your case your sun is in the leo so your degree and sense of self pride ego is already very high it's already very like at its peak and now ketu is going over it so means ketu will try to cut it down ketu will try to taper it down and generally what happen is that see the difference between the way saturn works or rahu works and ketu work is different ketu can change the course of your life with one sudden big event so i mean to say guys when we talk about your degree and sense of self pride ego that might have to be humbled down through some forceful circumstances along with that ketu will definitely uh, push you towards your best of the creative excellence if you are already connected with the fields of art entertainment creativity or if you are already holding a very important position in the government so you might be picked for some important job or to execute some important job the only thing is that guys uh, whenever ketu is going over the natal sun that to the leo so our free will tend to remain at its lowest so the force of the nature and the circumstances is going to be at its peak so whatever is going to be happening around the matters and area of your pride of your designation of your public image the better it is to be humble to be in a mode of surrender and be in the devotion in the service of i would say lord vishnu that is the one thing which i want to recommend it to you but for sure there is going to be some sort of uh excavation you will witness that there are like certain things which are coming out of you out of which you were not even have this awareness about that oh i can sing so good oh i can play this instrument so good oh i can have mastery over the language oh i can do uh, those predictions very efficiently so any of those hidden talents might come on to the surface or ketu will work in that domain and guys a lot many times it has been seen that you know something connected with your ancestry and lineage and something so i'm not i'll not be surprised if suddenly you will witness some sort of you know inheritance will you um, get that that could also happen like in my case growing up i have always heard this thing from my parents like okay you know we were the my dad used to tell me that i was the pradhan like my grandfather and all they were the head of the village i never paid any heed to it because i never went there in this past 11 months when i went back to india so my family took us to our like ancestral village i went there for the very first time it was the occasion of the um it was the occasion of the uh, gram devata puja our gram devata is lord kal bhairav so initially my dad was like okay let me transfer my share of amount of money to the uh, the whatsapp group who is managing all of that event so then i insisted no we shall go because i am here and i actually want to see my ancestral village where, where my grandfather great grandfather have lived and when we went there we were the one who did the that participated and did the whole puja of lord kal bhairav on the behalf of the whole village of hundreds of people so i mean to say this could be a case with you suddenly uh, you know getting being honored uh, in your family in your family lineage in your ancestry winning some sort of family claim inheritance so all that can happen all of that is possible when ketu is going over your this sun which is placed in the leo now guys move it right now let's say for example if you have your uh, moon in the uh leo and ketu is going over it so definitely guys this is going to be a little bit sensitive time because now what is going to be happening is that because deep in your mind you have this uh degree and sense of 
ego that I am something or I need to be respected or so there might be if there are any illusions in your mind which are self-created this could be around the matters of your ego around the matters of your status around the matters of your prestige and all so Ketu is coming over it so the only thing which I can say over here is that if it is something which is in real if you are actually craving and striving for something for which you are a deserving candidate Ketu will work in that direction but if you are living a life of illusion if you have that sort of very inflated grandiose kind of ego Ketu is going to scatter it so just be very mindful the way Ketu is going to be working over it along with that guys definitely because uh, moon is about our imagination about our subconsciousness now I do not know where your this Leo moon is placed is it is it placed in the 12th house is this Leo moon placed in the 8th house is it this Leo moon placed in the 5th house so accordingly they are going to be some mysterious experiences encounters in the domain of that house this could be a case that any of your departed ancestor will try to get their presence felt in your dreams or a lot many times it has been seen you know in the form of certain animal certain creature our ancestors visit us they get their presence felt or known so this is how it can happen and let's say guys for example if you're already or you are connected with the field of art entertainment creativity you are like a photographer you are like a filmmaker or you are a, like any of the writer novelist and all so this could be a case that because of nature and omens you will be able to kind of you know uh, get some very good ideas very mind blowing ideas and all and especially to you it's my recommendation if you're all in yoga meditation art creative fields so being in isolation being close to nature going in that retreat uh, going to that ashram or in the mountains and then working on your craft in amidst the nature surrounded by that nature as your creativity as your inspiration and wholeheartedly being focused and on that task this could be the right approach of when Ketu is going over your uh, Leo moon to get the best out of it and along with that guys this could be a case that yeah one thing is for sure that your degree and sense of ego and self is going to go through major upheaval transformation so it all comes down to whether you are living in reality or whether you are living in your own mind in your own self so all that matters that how and in which intensity Ketu is going to be working over you now guys let's say for example if you have Mars being placed in the Leo and Ketu is going over it so definitely guys uh, Mars in the Leo is considered as very good if I were to say I would rate Mars in the Leo Mars in the Sagittarius much better than Mars in its own signs Mars in Aries which becomes very aggressive and Mars in Scorpio which becomes filled with vengeance and all so I would say this thing that if you have Mars in the Leo that definitely makes you very determined very self-willed when it comes down to the protection of your dharma or chasing something which is very righteous these guys like Mars in the Leo are among those people who are always there and ready to defend the righteousness defend the right things and generally their courage and their like efforts are always well calculated writers within the boundaries of ethics and all so now guys just because a uh, ketu is going over it so definitely guys ketu has got this qualities of cutting the ties cutting the things so let's say for example if you are very forcefully holding on to something which is not serving any purpose ketu's transit over this leo mars can actually work in that domain this could be a case that due to some uh, ego or some sort of ideological philosophical differences with your brothers with your own siblings there could be a rift in the family generally it has been seen that if you're already in that stage where you know your, your parents are old there's a very big family empire or business which needs to be divided amongst the family amongst the brothers so these kind of uh, separation of the businesses separation in the will generally happen whenever Ketu is going through over the Mars and again guys the only thing which I can say is that see Mars in the Leo is a very well guarded righteous energy not much to worry about it and generally it has been seen that people who are realtor they end up winning the bids or tenders of some big projects uh, big uh, uh, you know uh, city planning and everything so Ketu going over the Mars that too in the Leo is not making you much prone or vulnerable in majority areas of your life so in your case like rather I would say that uh, 
keep on putting forward your uh, hard work your determination towards the goals which you want to achieve and one thing is for sure that during this time omens will definitely help you like nature circumstances omens being at the right place at the right time being helped by the right people taking the initiative at the right time this is how you are going to be progressing when ketu is going over your this natal leo mars now let's say for example if you have mercury in the leo and ketu is going over it so definitely guys uh, we know this thing that mercury has got everything to do with our intelligence now your mercury is placed in the leo so that means your mind your business dealing is very efficient enough to make you a strong contender for something which is very unique something which is very highly valued so your mindset and your thought process always take you at the right place to have your claim on the right things along with that mercury in the leo is generally considered as good you know people who end up becoming a spokesperson of uh, big top notch companies big political groups big institutions a lot many influencer actor creative people have also been seen with mercury being in the leo now guys what is going to be happening is that ketu is going over it so guys uh, one thing is for sure that whenever ketu goes over the mercury it is a time of inner turmoil inner mental anguish we know this thing that mercury and its influence and contribution with the rahu is still a very supporting sign because mercury is a very quick planet and whatever quick idea will come to you rahu is going to explode it give you and surround you with the right set of people who are going to help you to reinforce you, those ideas of yours to get the work done through right set of supply chain right set of distribution network right set of people but when we talk about ketu ketu somehow makes you self doubt your own ideas it cuts down your circle cuts down the kind of network distribution network or resources you might have so i would say guys that whenever ketu is going over this kind of alignment you have to be little bit um, calculative in your risk taking you do not have to be very opportunistic and i would say this thing that just be very mindful of the omens worship of the uh, especially the like even if, if you are a uh, vishnu devotee so the worship and devotion to the lord narsimha will be much more beneficial when ketu is going over it and i would say that in any of your important business dealing business call and all so be mindful of taking those decision at the right murat right omens so give attention to all of that that is something which i want to add over here now when we talk about if your uh, jupiter is placed in the leo and ketu is going over it definitely guys it's going to be a very blessed time i would say see uh, in the original kal purush kundli as well leo is a sign which is connected with the fifth house which is the house of the mantra sadhana mantra siddhi all sort of a uh, devotional spiritual practices is something which we connect with the fifth house or we connect with the leo the good part is that when we talk about leo it has got something to do with your soul and it's like it's that kind of knowledge that sort of art that sort of creative expression which comes straight from the source straight from your spirit and now ketu is going over it so guys trust me i'll not be surprised if during this time only you get your hands on something which is very unique which is very innovative any of the artistic creative work released by you during this time can suddenly go viral uh, give you that sort of you know, public figure kind of image so for that sort of elevated sense of um, self respect public image honor status in the society and the good thing is that because it is jupiter leo so whatever is going to be happening it is only happening for the right reasons the fame which comes from rahu going over saturn rahu going over mars in the 8000 all of that that could be through questionable means this could be a thing that you might not be a strong contender but just because you're shouting out too loud you're forcing yourself for your claim but when we talk about ketu going over jupiter that to the leo so that is something which is earned by you this could be a case that you know all those mantra sadhana which you have been doing from past so many lifetimes guys why to go very far like i'll be very honest with you um i have read uh, the ramayan and so many different uh, uh, holy uh, books and like work on our hindu gods the book written by one of the author very very respectful um 
Devi Vanamali ji. So I have read a lot of her books. Now that's the one story. Second story is that uh, there have been this guy on Instagram. I guess if I'm not wrong, his name is Bhuvesh. Bhuvesh, if I'm not wrong. He came in one of the many few podcasts as well. So initially, when I used to see him doing all those videos and talking about different religious places, um, doing and uh, talking about the right way of doing the ritual, uh, doing the fasting, offering water on the Shivlinga. Initially, I thought, okay, he might be just any other influencer because these days Instagram and social media is filled with that. But on the occasion of Guru Purnima, on certain occasion, he shared his picture with Vana Maliji. So then I got to know, oh my God, I was underestimating him because if you have that person, a person of that status as your guru, so imagine the kind of knowledge and the kind of divinity which you have within you. So I mean to say a lot many times, whenever we see people at their peak, at their prime, we fail to look at the kind of hard work, discipline, which has gone into it. And when we talk about Jupiter in the Leo and Ketu activating it, it is not only about this lifetime. This could be the merits and spiritual merits of past so many lifetimes, which Ketu can suddenly bring out on the surface. So I mean to say, this is a very good time for any of your writers, religious austerities, or any of the artistic creative endeavors, attainment of the status, attainment of the power, attainment of the position, suddenly becoming globally famous, suddenly uh, winning over a big sum of money. So all of that is possible. So the only thing which I want to recommend people who have Jupiter in the Leo and Ketu going over it is that be as righteous as possible. That's the only one thing which I want to say. And do not do anything just for the sake of it. Like even if you are doing any of the, a lot many times in many of those religious remedies and all, people give emphasis to the numbers. Okay, you have to do this uh, Venus mantra 100,000 times. This practice for this many days. I would say do it for less, but do it with your heart and soul. That is what matters when Ketu going over the Jupiter Leo. It's a good combination. Now guys, let's say for example, if you have... Venus in the Leo and Ketu is going over it. So beyond any doubt guys, when we talk about like Ketu going over the Venus, see when we say Venus is in the Leo, now Venus do not see sun and moon as a very good friend. And there is one <laughs> concept in Vedic astrology, which is about Nicha Rohi. That means right after the Leo, Venus is now heading towards the sign of its debilitation. So from the Venus's point of view in the Leo, it is not considered as a very good placement of Venus. I'll be very honest with you. Now, that is a different case in which Navamsa it is placed and all. So here I'm not preaching anything about your natal planet. I'm just talking about that Ketu is going over it. So guys, a lot many times it has happened that, let's say for example, if you are living a lifestyle which is not rightfully yours like those clothes those kind of vehicles those kind of fake lifestyle which people generally flaunt in the social media that sort of fake uh, friend circle social life neither you are happy nor you can afford it you're just doing it for the sake that everyone is doing it is in the trends so that is not something which you actually need that is not from where the true happiness comes guys understand this thing that anything in this world ever since you are born which actually gives you pleasure which gives you happiness that feel good factor that only comes from the venus saturn is something you might be we have this notion when we see a naked uh, sadhu rishi naga sadhu aghori oh he's such a terrible life why is he doing it he is getting happiness and pleasure from it this is what the definition of deriving pleasure from saturn this is the right way of doing it. But Venus is about giving you those kind of amenities, comforts, enjoyment, pleasure, which we need. So I mean to say, even if Ketu is going to be working over anything, like any sudden event happens, because of which now your lifestyle is exposed, you cannot afford it, or any of those things of uh, which used to be a source of pleasure to you which might be very superficial. So Ketu's transit over it, suddenly either you're not getting the gratification, it has been taken away from you, it has been suddenly exposed, revealed. So Ketu going over this Leo Venus is not a very superficial energy, but, 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 mind me, this will serve you on a very deeper level. 
on surface if something is gonna happen like that might not be very good to you you might not feel very good you might not appreciate it but in the longer term it will serve a very higher and deeper purpose so this is about for venus leo natives now guys let's say for example if you have kate uh, if you have saturn in the leo and Ketu is going over it. Now, definitely this is a very sensitive alignment. Guys, understand this thing. Saturn in the Leo is a conflicting situation. Now, definitely within the Leo as well, they are like different Dhamamsa Pada. But that is a secondary thing that will work on, on a latter stage. On surface, this is what your Saturn is. It is not very happy. It, it is not going to give you anything which is a matter of pride, of self-identity or being very boastful of your accomplishment achievement or something creating something which is very original which is very unique and all it is not gonna come very easy or even if it will come it will come with a lot of delays a lot of struggle a lot of sacrifice so i mean to say if you have this sort of alignment in your case now ketu is going over it so definitely guys um generally because the way we have seen this thing that there is still a stark difference between the functioning of the energies of saturn and ketu see saturn is a planet of delays saturn is a kind of a very ascetic kind of planet but when we talk about ketu or generally saturn takes its sweet time to do things but when it comes down to ketu ketu does things in a strike second thing is that let's say for example in any of those areas where you are struggling this could be the case that you are born in a family that any stigma is running within the family lineage you have been typecasted, you have been outcasted because of certain things done within your family. So I mean to say, if uh, Ketu is going over Saturn, it will make you, it will reveal the reasons for all of that. Okay, irrespective of being so talented, why you are still struggling to hit the headlines. Irrespective of having everything at your disposal, why you're not able to do something which will give you a very unique perspective, identity in the market, in the society. And again, guys, understand this thing that when, if you are born and in your chart, you have Saturn in the Leo, so that means anything to do with the recognition and all, you cannot be very forceful. You cannot be very, um, very hard bent on getting things because otherwise, if you're gonna think that you are very smart, planets have other way of uh, you know, um, fulfilling the promise. I've seen that in a lot many cases, like people who have fifth house extremely bad, extremely afflicted, lot of the problems in con conceiving or having a child, they kept on trying, they kept on trying, but later on, if it happened through adoption, through other means, either the child turned out to be autistic or it turned out to be filled with so many vices that it became responsible for responsible for bringing all the trauma, all the defamation to the family, disgrace to the family. So I mean to say planets have a way. So if you're born with alignment where you have Saturn in the Leo, that means humility is something which you need to learn. You know, you will be famous, but for the reasons when you are in the service, your fame is not going to be that it is going to be a matter of envy. Your fame is going to be something for which you will be respected. You, when you will walk out in the society, in the public, people will respect you because of your contribution. But humility is very important. And if you have this mindset with Saturn in the Leo, that I'm going to usurp something which does not belong to me through force, through deceit. And trust me, Saturn has its own way of punishing people. But okay, coming back to the point, Ketu going over this, uh, Leo Saturn will be a time of judgment, will be a time of revelation that it is definitely going to give you that deeper clarity and insight over all the hurdles and obstacle which you might be facing in the domain of the Leo energy. So in a way, it is a blessing for you because now it is giving you you know, it's like a mirror is coming in front of you where you are seeing a reflection of your soul, of your shadow, that where all you need to work, where all you can better yourself. Now, guys, let's say, for example, if your Ketu is going over this natal Rahu, your Rahu is placed in the, um, in the, um, uh, Leo sign. So uh, definitely guys, when we talk about this kind of alignment, so that means you are in a inverse cycle, like whatever is going to be happening in your life right now, it, you still have to wait for another nine years for Rahu and Ketu return to happen. So this is going to be the time when we say this thing that um, like see Rahu in the Leo, 
wants to be famous wants to be recognized wants to take chance in different things and knows how to make use of artificial things like the way we say that any uh, any sort of beauty which comes through cosmetic processes in the face in the body that all is rahu leo energy that is not something which is natural so we generally say that okay if rahu is in the leo and you are trying to do something you're forcing your will into something so all those beauty surgery processes which goes wrong uh, any risk which you take in the matters of speculation stock market goes wrong so again guys ketu going over rahu is a time of the upheaval and misunderstanding it's just like that the more humble and humility you will follow the better it will work out for you from rahu's point of view like whatever we talk about from the point of view of the aquarius it is still very much more in our control but whatever we talk about from the leo's point of view both rahu and ketu are not very friendly towards the energy and vibration of the leo so i mean to say with the sun so ketu going over this kind of alignment is going to be a time period of confusion your degree and sense like that kind of bloated sense of ego and that bloated sense of uh, imagination and image of yours which you have created around you you are living in a aura around you so ketu is going to shatter it might make you realize to your true self true identity in certain ways guys when we talk about something to do with the uh, mysterious pursuit and tantra practices and any of those kind of things so and in certain ways for the filmmakers uh, photographers people who are working and dealing with the illusion the world of illusion and all uh, so called in the kalyug the maya and all illusion and all those people can slightly get benefited like if you are in any way connected with artificial intelligence and all of that those people can slightly get benefited and yes guys if you have like ketu coming over ketu so i have already talked about it that means you are uh, having a rahu ketu return happening for you so this is going to be the time because when we say the only difference between the saturn return and the rahu ketu return is that rahu ketu excess is like a karmic excess so something regarding which you have been out there and exploring different dimension of the life in the past 18 years so if you are already 18 or 36 years of age this is going to be the time when life will reveal something to you this could be on the rahu's end this could be your purpose and from the ketu's end some sort of hidden latent dormant talent which you might have within you so yes guys this is something which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on my instagram account thank you